Hello everyone, Jerry Riz here coming to you with another video. And if you caught my last video, I recently got into the world of crypto mining. I took my original gaming PC and I converted it into a full-on multi-GPU mining rig. And that video, if you want to check it out, is right up here. Because today we're going to be dealing with something else that might have to do with mining and anybody running a high wattage power supply. Today's project is I'm switching over from 115 volts to 220 volts on my power supply. What's cool about doing this is 115 is fine, but when you run your power supply at 220 volts, if it does support it, the efficiency of your power supply goes up. It goes up by 2 or 3%, especially when you're pulling a lot of watts out of a you know reasonable power supply. If you saw in the last build, I'm running an 850 watt EVGA power supply, and right now I'm pulling about 80% of its max load which is about 700 watts output. But the input, if you saw in that video, was 800 watts because you always have a difference between the input wattage and the output wattage because of efficiency. Now, 80 plus on the power supply means it is 80% or more efficient at all times from 0% load to 100% load. But right in that sweet spot, right in the middle, is usually about 50% load is when it's the most efficient. Now, like I said, since they're High wattage power supply is a little bit few and far between right now. I'm running 850 watt and I'm running it at about, like I said, 700 watts. What's cool about going over from 115 to 220 is your power supply doesn't have to work as hard to make those high wattages. The efficiency will go up about 2 to 3%. And since I'm around that 80% mark, it's really going to help me with my power situation. Now, I personally got lucky. Right above where my PC sits, is an outlet for 240 volts because that's where my AC sits that runs my whole apartment in the summer. Now for the past week, I've been testing out my power supply on 220 volts. Luckily, my power supply has an internal switch that it knows when it's getting 115 and when it's getting 220. So I was able to just pick up this cord. Now it has a 220 volt on one end and the regular PC power supply adapter on the other. And I was able to just plug this in and it boot up my power supply and everything's been working smooth. And you'll see the difference here. Now this is, like I said, 220 volt, and this is your regular 115 volt. You can clearly see the difference. This is much more robust. The problem comes about is when the summertime comes around, I want to plug back in my AC so I can run it, and I want to keep my computer on the 220 volts. Now if you saw, that outlet only has one plug in it. I needed to upgrade. I picked this up from Amazon. It's a 220 volt, 20 amp outlet with two outlets on it. Now, if you want to see how I'm going to set this up, let's check it out. First thing we got to do is go down the circuit breaker. As you can see, mine's in the garage. And all you got to do is check check the breaker. Mine's 20 amps, which is great. It could be able to pull a lot of amps. I'm sorry, everyone. Technical difficulties, that's why you're seeing a stagnant image. All of the footage was corrupted from me actually changing out this outlet. So I'm gonna explain what I did very quickly. I made sure that the power was indeed off with a multimeter, very, very important. Then I removed the outlet from the wall using the two screws above and below. And then I just took out the two screws that hold in the two wires and just replaced the outlet and put everything back the same way. It's really easy, but also really easy to mess up. As long as you have the right tools, you'll be okay. Okay, so now that we have the whole entertainment center back together and looking good, we now need to see the test if this computer will actually be powered by our new dual 220 volt outlet. I think the AC is okay, but I wasn't gonna test it in the winter, but let's see if we can make this work. All right, plugged in, flipping the switch. See if she boots. Looks good. There we go, we have our boot screen. All right, back in the windows, we all seem pretty good. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational for you because switching over from 115 to 220, depending on your situation, could be hard, could be easy. Like I said, I was lucky enough that it was right there. And definitely consult a professional if you don't know how to do this yourself. I personally used to do this in a previous life. I had all the tools, I had all the knowledge, so it was very easy for me to do. But if you don't, you could definitely get a professional to do this for you. And you have to just decide for yourself if it is possible or if it is efficient to switch over to 220 for your power supply. 
And for sure, any of the cords, any of the, anything I use in this video, the cords, uh, the outlets, everything I'm going to have in this video is going to be linked down below if you want to check it out or if you want to check out my kit that's also going to be linked down below. Other than that, this is Majori Riz. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.